This is Steve N4LQ demonstrating some uh, new gadget here I got. I'm using the uh, RTL dongle which I got from NOO N -O -O -E -E and let me show you this. This is the dongle and it's got the brand name of TerraTech on it. Uh, here's your USB connection, goes to your PC, and this is your antenna input. And as it is, it will receive um, from about 50 megahertz or something like that up to uh, a couple of gigahertz. I'm not sure how uh, sensitive it is up that on those really high frequencies, but they are available. And we're listening to the uh, National Weather Service on 162.475 right now. And it'll uh, do pretty well. It'll receive, uh, it will receive hand bands, uh, 2 meters, 440. Picked up a bunch of uh, repeaters and stuff like that. So it's not bad. Um, things get interesting when you add this little job, which I put together. This is a up converter, and it converts everything from zero on up uh, to about 30 megahertz to 100 megahertz. So if I want to listen to, say, 3 megahertz, I feed that in here from my antenna, and uh, it comes out of this end and goes to the dongle. So uh, inside, Take the lid off. <clears throat> we have a board that uh, came from N O O E L E C uh, called the Ham It Up board. And uh, yeah, right here is a uh, 100 megahertz mixer. So this converts everything coming in. For instance, if I've got uh, 1KC coming in, it mixes it with 100 megahertz, and it comes out this end is 100 plus 1 megahertz, 101 megahertz. So I just tune the uh, the dongle using my software to 101 megahertz, and I can hear it. Uh, there's a switch here that you can use to bypass the converter, so everything just goes straight through, and that's how I've got it set now. So I turn it off, and it pretty well, you know, eliminates all the. You still hear a little bit every now and then, but uh, it's much, much quieter. Wouldn't hurt to have a uh, another filter on it for FM. It's uh, it's got built-in uh, a built-in filter to block anything below. Um, I think it's 100 megahertz. So. You really shouldn't be hearing anything, but you can still pick up a little bit. After all, uh, this dongle isn't shielded, and this will probably help some anyway, putting the lid back on this, so that pretty well killed it. Um, another thing I have in line with the antenna is this. This is a AM broadcast band filter, and I found that I can do better receiving HF by simply blocking everything from uh, 1.8 megahertz down and this is sold by ICE it's got the model 402X and it covers 1.8 to 30 megahertz uh, it allows it allows those frequencies to pass everything else is blocked and the antenna that I have on here now is an 80 meter uh, doublet going through an antenna tuner and we are tuned to 20 meters right now. Um, we're running SDR sharp here. Um, as you can see, it's got some controls over here on the left. And uh, to receive HF, we click on the shift 
and that puts in a, a shift down of minus 100 megahertz. So I've got a one and nine zeros over here. That changes the uh, frequency readout up here to read our actual frequency that we're receiving. So in other words it says 162.211 here you subtract 100 megahertz and this is what it shows here. Okay this we're gonna switch down go down to uh, somewhere in the HF spectrum and uh, here we are around uh, 12 megahertz. And notice this display is showing your dongle frequency 112 but your actual frequency that we're hearing is 12. So this is shortwave broadcast from 11.4 up to 13 and um, I've got it zoomed out there's a zoom control over here on the right and you can zoom in uh, and that'll narrow things down a little, you can tune a little easier that way but uh, you can switch to uh, AM mode it automatically puts in a filter bandwidth of 10 kilohertz and you just click on a blip right there and there you have it beautiful hi-fi AM from some broadcast station and there's just millions of signals to choose from here it's, it's very very sensitive on the uh, short wave bands and it can also be very selective if I go to uh, the uh, 20 meter ham band, here is the side band portion of the 20 meter ham band. We're seeing all the way down 13.4 up to almost 15 uh, kilo, uh, megahertz. And this probably right here is probably WWV. Yeah, right there, I'll set it right on 15 megahertz. I've got this peak marker turned on. I can turn that off and get rid of those little circles, but they're kind of neat. They kind of bring attention to the actual peaks. Um, it looks like the calibration is pretty close. If you need to calibrate it, you go to configure, and down here on your correction parts per million, you adjust this until it's exactly on frequency. All right, we can go back down to uh, the ham band. Uh, let's see here. Down 14. There's a single side band. We'll go to upper side band. setting on a 2.4 kilohertz bandwidth we can widen it up two ways we can either well three ways really we can key it in here or we can use the little up and down arrows or the other thing is you can zoom in then you can see the bandwidth shadow here you can grab it slide it And you can slide this thing up. Here's 20, 30 KC, 30 KC bandwidth. I've got room to go. I can hear just about the entire 20 meter band if I want to. Of course, it's out of the hearing range. CW. Go down into the. Uh, CW part of the band. Let's 
switch over to CWL and it defaults to 300 hertz bandwidth. You can pick out a signal here on the waterfall. Uh, here's one right here. The bandwidth is so narrow that it's really hard to find anybody so I'm going to kind of crank it up a little bit. signal and I can narrow it down that's 60 cycles bandwidth real narrow Whether it really is or not is, it remains to be seen, but it is plenty sharp enough for, you know, communications. Far better than the best receiver was 30 years ago or 50 years ago. Uh, we can go down to um, 40 meters. Let's see, we need to go here and then to seven. Getting a lot of uh, broadcast. Again, the selectivity is so sharp, it's hard to tune when you've got that going on. start experiencing overload as many SDR receivers do you can go to configure and back down your RF gain and that'll eliminate it because now you can see all we have is nice clean signals With some uh, digital mode stuff there Okay, and uh, you can go down to the uh, AM broadcast band by simply getting down to, you know, like here's, here's 1,000. Now remember, I've got the filter in line here, so you're not going to see much. Um, and here is the station here. Now I can bypass that filter fairly quickly, simply manually taking it out of the circuit and putting a barrel connector in line. There you go. Now zoom out and we're seeing uh, seeing the entire AM broadcast band right here that's the entire band you're down around 500 up here is 1750 so you can see the entire AM broadcast band and then you can zoom in one after the other very sensitive. Very selective. Um, let's see if we can get uh, 840. It's kind of early in the evening. The sun hasn't gone down completely.
but I'm picking up Louisville, Kentucky from Charlotte, North Carolina. So, uh, it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Okay. I hope that was helpful, and uh, if you got any questions, just uh, ask them. And we thank you for watching.